Hello everyone, and welcome back to Howling Hoosier Outdoors. Today I'm going to be showing y'all how to make a hobo stack out of an old pair of blue jeans. I recently field tested this on the Scarso Fat Trail, so I know that it works and it's relatively comfortable. So, deconstructing everything that I was able to fit in here is everything that I typically carry in a day pack. So, tarp shelter, bug spray, old water bottle, some fire starters, rain jacket, food, for a day, more bug spray. Then I also had two liters of water in here, which apparently got emptied out at some point. So, give me a minute to take this apart because it actually requires almost no sewing. And so, we'll give me a second to take this apart and then I'll get right back. All right, so the three things you're gonna need for this, about five feet of 36 bank line, old pair of blue jeans, and some paracord, about four feet. So you're gonna start off by taking the bottom of your blue jeans, your two legs, you know, make them nice and flush, and then you're going to tie your bank line around and secure it nice and tight. And then just secure it with a half hitch. All right, and now that that's on nice and tight, you're going to find the middle length of your paracord you're going to do one loop around that segment. And this is what is going to feed in through your belt loops. So then, flipping that around, do a square knot if it'll help you secure it. Now, you're going to feed both ends of your paracord through your belt loops, and then you're going to meet in the middle on the other side. And that's going to allow this to act as a drawstring, closing it all up. To tie it and secure it, I just use a quick release. That way, all you have to do is pull, and it'll come undone. But you can make it as fancy as you want. From here, what I'll typically do at least on my other one that I test, tested, is I put on a good lanyard. And that gave me a tab that I can hold on to. Can you say a bit about the lanyard again? I zoomed in on specific knots that you're doing. Okay. So then I'm adding in a lanyard, so that'll add as a stopper and keep things from sliding through all the way. It also gives me a tab that I can grab onto and pull in order to cinch everything down. So then once I'm done and everything is cinched down with that tab on there, just tie a quick release knot and pull through. And there you have it.
good one ever. All right, so now this bag's loaded up for everything for a day trip. You can wear it one of three different ways. First is just a one-handed shoulder sling. For anyone who is a fan of those bags. You can also wear it the way you would wear a normal backpack. Using the two legs as shoulder straps. Just slide it on. And it's going to ride high. It's going to ride deep in your armpits. But anyone who's worn a Duluth pack or has ever had a trump line for their bedroll, this is actually going to feel really familiar to them. Additionally, you can wear it as a true hobo bag. Sling it through your trekking pole stick. And then just throw it over your back and walk like a old fashioned hobo. As always, folks, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, questionable life choices, or epiphanies, please feel free to leave them in the comments. As always, stay awesome.